Once we're done here, we're heading to the airport, and it's all of us. When I say all of us, it's every last person that's working on this program, correct? All of us. Yeah, There's not a, a single soul that puts their fingerprints on this program that's not going to be at the sports Emmys tomorrow Sorry. night. Mike and Ashley are already in New York. Okay. And everybody else, we're all going uh, on the same plane to New York um, later on today. And I love it. I love it. For many different reasons. TJ, you've mentioned over and over again the the phrase that's kind of worn out for so many different award shows and people who are nominated that it's just an honor to be nominated. Mm -hmm. And then you keep saying that that is the truth for us. Yeah. And it is 100% the truth for us. Would we like to win for Best Studio Show Daily? Of course. We're up against some pretty, you know, Lofty, stout competition, including the show that precedes us and Dan and my old show, SportsCenter, Good Morning Football. It's a heavyweight category. Pardon the interruption, which wins every year, pretty much. Um, And um, the last uh, show escapes me, and I apologize. Oh, pardon me. The NASCAR show. Okay, yeah, Yeah. NASCAR show. NASCAR um, Race Hub as well. And, And everybody together, you know, we're all thrilled to be nominated. In our particular situation, I can only speak about us. Tell them, Rich. <laughs> tell I'm them. Gonna, I'm going to just straight up tell this story here. Please do. Because we're all very proud of it. Two days before Christmas, two days before Christmas in 2019, I got a phone call from um, the highest ranking executive that was in charge of our show on the audience network at DirecTV to say that we were done. Two days before Christmas, Mm -hmm. we were through. This show and Dan's show, the audience network was being shuttered, and that was it. They were out of the Rich Eisen show business. And we were told, you know, it could happen sometime in late February, the exact date, and then the radio stations that we were affiliated with, uh, they could be assigned to me personally. But then I would be on the hook for providing a radio show that I did not know how it would exist if there's no... You know, producer of the show. There's no financial backing of the program. I, I, honestly, I, I my head was spinning. I was in the LAX going to meet Susie and the kids where they had already gone um, ahead of me for the Christmas vacation. My head was spinning. I called you. I finally got you on a train in Europe. You were with Sarah. I was pregnant with Cage at the time. Yeah, we were on our baby moon. The day after Christmas, we were on a train to Belgium. And I finally reached you. To say, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm not giving up. Told the same thing to you. Mm -hmm. Told the same thing to everybody. I have no idea how this is going to work, but we're going to we're going to do our best to make it work. And then whatever plans that we were beginning to lay the tracks for to 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 find a new home for the show, poof, went out the window when COVID nineteen shuttered us all in the following spring. But all of you here on this program and our audience, I want to include you in this too, because you've been nominated as far as I'm concerned. You all didn't jump ship. We came here, we were on a, a YouTube only show for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, NBC Sports Net, the, the folks at NBCSN, we, we had a dialogue. They put us on the air for the spring. You all stuck with it. And then Peacock said, you can have a new home with us. And then Westwood One Radio leapt in on the audio side of things. And I started to cobble together enough partners for a show that I now own, not just in air quotes. I guess I shouldn't even use air quotes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it, I formed a production company for this. And then we kept plugging away. Every day coming to work. Every day, man. Putting a new fresh coat of paint on this show. Every day. Grinding. Every day doing our best. And then we got a call. When I got a text that day and um, six weeks ago that we were like nominated. <laughs> we were now a nominated <laughs> television show. And we were dead right before Christmas in 2019, and here we are now in 2022, an Emmy-nominated show, and you're damn straight 
it is an honor to just be nominated. Damn straight. Would we like to come home with the trophy? Of course, we all would. But the fact that our peers see this program, know about this program, consume this program, because it is like Silence of the Lambs, for the lack of a better phrase. You covet what you see every day. Sure, our reel, that's the way it works. You put together an Emmy reel from moments about from your show in the previous year, and it's 20 minutes long, and they vote on it, and those who get the most points get nominated, and whoever gets the most points in the nomination gets the award on Tuesday night in New York City. So our fate is technically sealed, or uh, I, I should put it a different way. Our outcome is sealed. Or we decided. It has been decided. We don't know, but we are definitely going to New York to find out as a team. Yeah. All of us together. 11. Strong. 11 people put this on. Man. We're going to do it. We're going to New York to celebrate our existence, our persistence, and thanks to you out there who consume this program on Peacock and whichever audio outlet you choose, your fandom, which we never will take for granted. So yes, it is an honor to be nominated, and we are thrilled. So we're off the air on Tuesday and Wednesday on, uh, on Peacock. We're back Thursday, potentially, with some hardware. Two of but them. if not, we are thrilled to be here, and we will be back on Thursday. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.